So today we're going to look at deploying an agent directly from APM into a Windows server. So why do we want to do that? Well, automation is always a good thing, right? Anything that can force multiply our effort, anything that can make us more effective as network administrators and network engineers is a great thing. So why an agent? Well, because network scanning is unreliable, right? Um, we can scan, but say that we get um, port 80 is open or port 22. What does that tell me about what's running on that box? A web server and SSH is available. It doesn't tell me the OS or things like that, right? Manual installs, they're a bad thing. Again, I, I'm making the point twice. Anything that makes us more productive and more efficient is a good thing. Let's take a look. So here we are on the IMC interface right we're gonna go resource we're gonna go application manager and down here to agent management so we've already got one here that started we're gonna go click on the install button again we could click on the download and install that um, directly onto it manually right but we want IMC to do the work for us here so we can put destination host and we could do multiple of these in here if we want to have the agents deployed to you know five or ten servers at the same time so we put in the destination host IP then we can select what type of a host is this. Is this a Windows host or is this a Linux host? We're going to put the installation path. So this is the, the path on the machine where you're going to be installing the agent. right? And then we're going to put the username, which is um, in most cases going to be prepended by the IP address or the host name of the box. Then you put the password in. And again, we could put the description in here too. Um, we're going to click on the install button. And now this will go away and this will connect to that server and we'll copy over the files and then we'll start to attempt the um, process of installing the agent. So the agent is, is really not going to be performing the, um, all of the, the, the traditional APM agent functions. We're still performing that from an IMC querying net. Right? But what it does is it allows us to go in and do an inventory of the apps that are running on that particular machine. Right, so we'll go in here, we'll also add another machine, which is the uh, IMC server we're running right now. So we'll install that here as well. So C colon APM, so that way I know I have a consistent place where this agent is going to live. Username, so that's the username of the host name, plus the username administrator. And again, you may want to create your own particular username um, specifically for your APM agents. You know, that's completely up to you, but definitely I would recommend doing it as far as a best practice. All right, so we'll click on the refresh here. So we're copying and to be copied. And we'll refresh again. And look at that, installation failure. Hmm. So let's take a look and see at what may have caused that failure. All right, so we're going to go down and click on the try again button. So from a Windows perspective, what I've probably done with the username and password here is I was logging against the local machine credentials instead of the domain credentials. So this, because this particular box is a domain controller, I'm going to want to put in the domain credentials, which would be lab.local is the name of the domain controller, and then slash administrator, and then the domain password. And we click on that install button again, and then we see whether or not this is going to work. So there's always going to be these little things that, that as you get to play more with this, uh, you know, you're going to want to try this a couple of times on a single box before you go for the wide deployment to make sure that you know how things are going to work, right? That's always, you know, it's, it's a good best practice to be able to have a lab environment where you can test this stuff out, right? We've got another auth failed here. Um, so let's go up and click on the refresh button again. So we're copying now. Right, actually this is going to auto refresh for us, which is kind of nice. We'll wait for this to finish itself up. Starting the installation. And this may take a bit of time. Keep in mind, this is probably about a 200, 300 meg package that's going to go in and install itself across the network. And we started the installation and in just a couple of seconds, started there we go so we can click on the results page so this is not actually creating those APM monitors yet we're not monitoring anything right so what we've done is we've done that inventory and we now have the ability to click on that results and see what are all the different 
processes, services running on this particular server that we can go after to start monitoring, right? We're going to cover that in the next video. See you guys next time on the next IMC management tutorial.